Hi everyone, it's very typical the scenario in Outlook that after having clicked on the button send you realize that there was a mistake or an error in the body of your email or some missing attachment. To prevent that you can follow two tips. Let me walk you through how you can deal and prevent mistakes in Outlook. Let's go! Here I am in the browser, I have the web version of Outlook open. This is because I would like to show you that the new Outlook has the same look and feel. In fact, is the same web-based app. Just for your info, this app is built and developed using React. So let me now open Outlook for desktop and I'll show you in a bit that we have the same UI. So this is the old UI, it is the classic UI that we are used to work with. But you can find in the upper right corner this toggle button, try the new Outlook. Let me switch now this experience and let me show you how it looks the new Outlook. Here we go, I have now the new Outlook open and as you can see I have exactly the same user experience. I have the same React app available even in the desktop version of Outlook. All right, now that we made this parenthesis, I can close this parenthesis and I can move further to show you how you can deal with mistakes by sending email. First tip that I would like to give you is undo send. This functionality is pretty useful. To open this setting you have to go on the wheel icon and then go on mail and finally on compose and reply. If you scroll a bit down you will find this section undo send. This is particularly useful when you are sending an email because you have some seconds to undo your action so you can revoke your sending action. So let me click now on save and let me show you you immediately this thing, how it works. If I open a new email, let me write something here, test undo, in the body we are going to see how it works, just to write something and now I'm ready to send this email to Adele. So if I click on send button, I have now 10 seconds to revoke this sending action. If I click on undo, I can go back. So this is the first tip that you can follow in order to avoid mistakes by sending email. The second one, it's another important action. So let's say that you have already sent your email, but somehow you want to revoke. this this action. So you want to get back your email. So what we can do here, let me first send an email to Adele so I can show you how you can recall your email. So let me write Adele here in the to as a recipient and then let's type test and here in the body I'm going to type recall email. Here we go. Let's send the email to Adele, let's wait for 10 seconds, so I'm sure that this email will be delivered to Adele. Now, the email is delivered, if I go on send email, I can see that email, the email is landed. So let me now open the email with Adele from another user perspective. I have Outlook open as Adele events now, and I received the email from Giuliano. I can open this email, I can read this email. Now changing again perspective and going back as Giuliano, let's say that I want to revoke this email, I want to recall this message. To do that I will click on the send items, I will target this email, you can even open it, but if you just click on this email you have already the needed action to recall this email. In the command bar you can find this new icon called recall message. If I click on this one and then if I confirm by clicking on the button OK, this email will be revoked. I should see now coming 
a notification that tell me that this message is revoked and recalled. This is already available in the web version of the email here. If I click on notification, yeah, I can see the email already coming here in the web version of Outlook. Your message recall request here. It's a summary of your action. All right, now I received this. I can click again on inbox and this, this message is of course available also in the desktop version of Outlook. Now, if I reopen Outlook as Adele events, this message is, uh, is gone. So it's no longer available. This was other test that I made previously, but the, the email is gone, is no longer available here because I recalled this email. Now, last thing that I would like to call out here is the settings section in the web version of Outlook. As you can see, if I open the panel, we have the same user experience like we have seen before for the desktop version of Outlook. So if I go on compose and reply, I will find the undo send section that will allow me to decide how many seconds I have to undo the sending action to deal with email. So that's it from an end user perspective and how you can deal and reduce mistakes using and sending email with Outlook. I show with you two tips that you can follow in order to prevent mistakes in Outlook. If you consider this content valuable, please consider to subscribe, like and add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about my tips.